Mansuri automobiles are widely known for their elegant looks and hefty price tags. And it's not once or twice when you'll hear people talk bad about Mansuri because of the unreachable prices. This is one of those people that are so good in their area of specialization that his cars are close to being unaffordable. He's been preparing automobiles for the affluent for 30 years. And it works. So, who is Mansuri? And what are some of his notable works? Stay tuned. Kourosh Mansuri, creator of the firm, in an interview with Capital, said that for Mansuri's clientele, money does not matter. However, customers' preferences aren't talked about to a certain extent, especially in the personalization industry. This is not a Ferrari dealership that quietly pushes a customer to buy a red car since it'll be simpler for them to sell it later on the second-hand market. Regardless of whether his designs are popular or not, Mansuri is a story of passion for the automobile and an apparent need to stand out over the past 30 years despite the heart attack figures that his creations reach or whether his works appeal to the public. His clients will gladly pay for it. That's what's important. According to an ad from the company, Mansuri has been modifying automobiles and motorbikes since 1989. With the location in Brand, Germany, near the Czech border, Mansuri Designs and Holding is now situated there. This entrepreneur has an autoclave oven in the Czech Republic to make the carbon fiber pieces for his automobiles, as well as a saddlery in Mannheim to make the leathers for them. Mansuri makes everything in-house. At Brand's headquarters, a former shoe factory, more than 250 people work for Mansuri. It's here where the automobiles are born. The aspirations of Kourosh Mansuri and its consumers are shaped by designers, mechanics, and bodybuilders. Six automobiles can be serviced at the same time by up to 22 professionals. Leather seats, more powerful engines, and bigger wheels are all a part of the process of making each automobile into a Mansuri vehicle. The extensive use of carbon fiber, on the other hand, is a distinguishing feature of the building itself. In addition to the carbon fiber bodywork, another one of Mansuri's specialties is leather upholstery. Today, Mansuri is on par with Brabus, AMG, Alpina Tech, and ABT when it comes to brand recognition and appreciation. They obviously don't cater to the same demographic. In Mansuri's world, ostentation and pomposity aren't just tolerated, they're celebrated. Kourosh Mansuri had no ambitions to get a car. Even though he had always been a fan of automobiles, he was sent to boarding school in England in the 1970s as the son of a wealthy Iranian business family. After moving to Germany from England, he studied German at the Goethe Institute in Munich, worked as a server at Lohenbra, and then returned to England. He claims to have fallen in love with English luxury automobiles, workmanship, and heritage while in the United Kingdom. He was stunned by Rolls-Royce, Bentley, Jaguar, and Aston Martin. While in Germany, he bought an E-Class model W123 from Mercedes, and that was his first automobile there. He quickly discovered that automobile sales were more lucrative than working in the hotel business. That wasn't enough. When Kouros Mansuri was selling and buying second-hand automobiles, he was inspired by AMG designs both visually and internally. Everything began with the Mercedes W123. Soon after, he started putting extras on the automobiles he had for sale. A simple wooden steering wheel, repurposed leather seats from another model, or some new wheels turned a used car off the lot into a one-of-a-kind vehicle worthy of a higher price tag. In simple terms, he made more money. Following the success, Mansuri Design and Holdings was established in 1989, and he began selling his own accessories to other customers, sellers, and dealers under the brand name. Before taking over the saddlery, Everything was done in-house, so he didn't have to acquire furs, negotiate rates, or pay an upholsterer. Beginning in 1999, Mansuri gradually shifted his business from Munich to Brand until he was solely based in Brand by 2001. Today, German tuners rely on Mansuri headquarters as a go-to source. In fact, the carbon fiber body kits and leather seats that showcase the work of well tuners are manufactured by Mansuri. Even though he owns a firm, he continues to work for other companies. His earliest designs were virtually inconspicuous by comparison to his present workers. He traveled to Munich on a whim one day without notice. He got behind the wheel of his 180,000 euro Bentley Continental GT and began dismantling it the next day and designing a carbon fiber body package for the iconic English coupe. When a European version of SEMA was held in Las Vegas in 2004, he exhibited it there. 
over 100 cars were sold, the majority of them in California. Bentley sued Mansouri because of his creation. In the end, it was all for nothing after they realized he led to an increase in sales after a three-year experiment. He and Bentley are now friends. The likes of Porsche and Audi and BMW and Daimler acquired his skins for the most luxurious interiors from him. In addition, he has been Lotus's official coach since 2012. In 2008, the Swiss company Rinspeed sold its Porsche tuning branch to Mansuri, which had long since ceased to be a simple training facility. Since then, it's now surpassed Brabus Alpina and rough in terms of skill. Mansuri is frequently one of the first consumers a luxury brand has when a new model is introduced to the market. It requires 20 to 25 automobiles at first to sample the market. The company has three automobile design departments. After scanning the bodywork, they generate a 3D model of the vehicle. It takes a day to complete this task. It is then that the automobiles are dismantled and each part is scanned one at a time. A considerable reduction in time is achieved while retaining the original anchor points for future assembly. Mansuri makes sure that all eyes will be on those creations, whether they'll be patronizing or admiring. Even with the Bugatti Chiron, he never hesitated to take the risk. Mansuri keeps up with the latest news and developments on a technological level. At the Geneva Motor Show in 2020, Mansuri planned to present up to 11 automobiles on an enormous booth, including the Ford GT Le Mansuri, to mark the company's 30th anniversary. Due to the pandemic, the event had to be postponed. Mansuri has recently launched a new line of armored vehicles, like the Mercedes AMG G63 with armored protection. It's of course a Mansuri with its body kit and carbon fiber body panels, despite, you know, the armor. Let's take a look at some of his works before we wind up. The Rolls-Royce Wraith Palm Edition 999 is a two-toned white and gold Wraith that has been given a more luxurious facelift by Mansory. A significant amount of gold was added to the Rolls-Royce by Mansory, making the premium automobile even more opulent. New spoilers and gold emblems, as well as carbon fiber side skirts, were added to the car's appearance as a whole. The inside is just as spectacular, with beautiful leather and pure gold components. However, the car's functionality was also enhanced by Mansuri, who updated the car's V12 engine so that the vehicle can drive from 0 to 100 km per hour in 4.4 seconds. A regular Lamborghini Aventador SV may cost a whopping $400,000, the price of a nice house in North America. How could you possibly top that? You can get one that costs as much as a mansion, and you'll be good to go. At a stunning $1.6 million, Mansuri's customized version of the Lamborghini Aventador SV, called the JS1 Edition, is truly one of a kind. A new power box, air performance filter, and exhaust system were all included. With all the carbon pieces included, Mansuri's automobile weighs 110 pounds fewer than the original, the car reaches 0 to 100 km per hour in 2.7 seconds. The Bugatti Veyron Mansuri Vivere Edition costs $3.2 million, making it one of the most expensive vehicles in the world. Mansuri added daytime LED lights in the front, redesigned wings, five double-spoke alloy wheels, and a lowered hood made the appearance even more eye-catching. Black and white leather and LEDs adorn the cabin's decor. Additionally, the air intake and diffuser have been upgraded, and the car now has a more spacious interior. The Vivere version of a Mansory vehicle would not be complete without a lot of carbon fiber. Last year, Mansory put the Bentley Continental GT V8 through its paces in Motor Passion, and it also put the Ferrari 812 Superfast through its paces on the pages of the magazine. So, what did you like about the Mansuri? That's all from this video. We'll catch you in the next one.